What are the rules of tag rugby and how do you play it? The objective of the game is to be the team that has accumulated the most points at full time by scoring tries. Tag rugby is a non-tackle, minimal contact version of rugby. Matches are usually played with five, six or seven players on each side depending on the size of the pitch. In tag rugby, you can have mixed gender teams as well as teams of just men and women. Each player wears shorts with two velcro patches on either side of their hip. Attached to the velcro patches are two coloured flags or tags. Each tag measures 38cm by 6cm and are usually brightly coloured. A typical tag rugby pitch runs across half a full size rugby pitch, making two tag pitches on one full size pitch. There are no posts necessary. The game is played in two 20 minute halves for a combined playing time of 40 minutes. The team with the highest score after 40 minutes wins. In tag rugby, you may run forward to the ball and you may kick the ball forwards. As with all other forms of rugby, you can only pass the ball backwards or sideways. You cannot pass the ball forward and doing so will result in your opposition being awarded possession of the ball. You can only accumulate points by scoring a try. A try is worth one point. In mixed games, female tries are worth two points. To score a try, you run the ball past your opponent's try line and place the ball in a controlled manner on the floor. Diving over the try line isn't allowed if there are players in tagging distance of you. There are no conversions in tag rugby. The team in possession of the ball are the attacking team. Attacking players attempt to run past and evade or pass the ball around the, the defending team to get to the try line. The attacking team have six plays or tags to try and score a try. If there is no try scored after the sixth tag, the opposition gain possession of the ball and restart with a tap kick on the spot where the last tackle was made. To stop you from scoring, your opponent will try and tackle you. As tag rugby is a non-contact sport, a tackle is when one of the attacking player's tags is removed when they are in possession of the ball. After a tag is made, play resumes by the attacker going back to where they were tagged, placing the ball on the ground and rolling it backwards with their foot. This is called a roll ball. In summary, tag is a brilliant sport, suitable for all fitness levels, ages and sporting abilities. Boys and girls play together in a competitive environment. Tag is a great way to keep healthy and have fun whilst doing it. That's basically the gist of it, but there are a few other rules you need to understand before playing the game. The game is minimal contact, an attacker cannot deliberately bump into a defender. A defender cannot change direction or move into an attacker's path. Whoever initiates the contact is penalised. The onus is on the attacking player to avoid the defender. Fending. The ball carrier is not allowed to protect their tags and fend off defenders. That is to say, move her hand, elbow or ball over the tags or push or knock away defenders hands either accidentally or deliberately, as the defender is trying to make a tag. Kicking. A player can release the ball from their hands and kick the ball in any direction as long as it is not a drop kick. A player can kick a loose ball as long as there is no one around them and the ball stays below the shoulders height of the referee. Knock on. Any player deflecting the ball forwards with their arms or body is committing a knock on. Remember, you are not allowed to pass the ball forwards, so you're not allowed to deflect the ball forwards unless it's with a kick. Committing a knock-on will result in the other team being awarded a penalty. There are many other rules not discussed here, but as you watch or play, these games will come very clear. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more Tag Rugby content. Why don't you leave me a comment about where you first heard about Tag Rugby?